I had a viewer ask me a question uh, that I thought would be an interesting uh, video to do. They had a circuit, and uh, I don't know the circuit, but let's make up a circuit. Let's say that they have a uh, Arduino, and it's talking to a uh, D to A converter, and that D to A converter can output anything between zero volts and two volts, okay? And so here we're having the Arduino ramp up and then ramped up and then ramp up and ramp down, okay? So we have, uh, this is a two, volt, two volts per scale. And so we have zero here and we have at two volts. So it goes up to two volts and it goes back to zero, up to two volts and down to zero. Now they want to use this signal to control a motor. And let's say they want to have the motor go plus and minus. So they can go forward direction, they can go negative direction, okay? And let's say they want to go much higher voltages than two, right? So they need some amplification. So the, what they want to do is they run, want, they want to run this into an amplifier. Now, if you run that into an amplifier, <clears throat> let's see here. Let's turn channel one on. And so I'm turning, I'm running it into a uh, regular op amp circuit, an inverting amplifier, so it's gonna go negative. But um, it's certainly bigger, okay? But it, it, we want it to go positive and negative, right? So it's only gonna go negative because it's an inverting amplifier. If you put in a non-inverting amplifier, it'd only go positive, but we want it to go plus and minus. So, 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 so how do we do that? Um, so there's something called offset. Okay, we need to add an offset. So let's take a look at one way to add offset. All right, this circuit shows what's called a summing amplifier, that the output is the sum of A and B amplified, right? It's, it's going to add these, these two signals together. And so if this is our, our input signal, okay, and uh, we, had, we had nothing coming in here, then this would be exactly what we have on the, uh, on, on, on the oscilloscope, okay? That's exact, exactly what we have. We have a gain of about 4.7, 4 okay? We have 47K and 10K, so we have a gain of about 4.7. But we need to add some offset, okay? And so we're going to put in a V, a V offset here. We're going to add these two together. Okay. We end up with something like this. Okay. So I've added in some offset voltage and uh, let's go ahead and change that offset voltage. So you can see it, you can make it go higher or you can make it go lower so you can offset it. See, it's not changing. The size of the yellow is not changing. I'm just adding a DC offset. I can lower it down or I can raise it up. And if I make it right about in the middle, somewhere around there, okay, somewhere around there, what voltage are, are we offsetting? Well, we're offsetting one volt. Now, are we offsetting one volt in the circuit? So let's go back down to here, all right. Okay, so we're gonna add, uh, we have zero, zero to two volts, all right. And we're going to add, let's put in an arrow like that. We have somewhere between zero and two volts and we are going to add negative one. So we're going to subtract one from both of these. So now we're going to go between negative one and two and one. I'm sorry, negative one and one, right? So zero minus one is minus one. Two minus one is one. So now we have a signal that goes between plus and minus one. And then we can amplify that by, uh, by the 47K, all right? And uh, so that's the way that one works. And then let me show you one more way to do it. Okay, that's, that's one way to add offset. Let's take a, uh, another way to add, to add offset. So that's, that is actually a summing, summation. This is actually adding offset. So again, we're gonna have uh, 10K and 47K and uh, the, here's our, our in and this is our out. But now we're gonna, instead of having this grounded, which normally you would have, you would have the plus grounded, we're gonna put a signal down here. We're gonna put in a V offset, okay? And uh, so let's go ahead and wire that one up. I just have to change a couple wires here and move this over to here. There we go, all right. So now I've got this situation, V offset. All right, so let's take a look at that one. Does that look the same? Yeah, looks about the same. 
I'm going to change that V offset voltage. I can make it go low or I can make it go high. All right. And if I want it somewhere in the middle where it's both plus and minus, it's going to be, uh, that's going to be somewhere right in, uh, somewhere right in there. And it's going to be about uh, 0.83 volts. So anyway, um, in this particular case, you have to worry about the gain of the system and stuff. It's going to make um, the plus input and the minus input is going to be the same. So if you set this to minus 8, this is going to be minus 8. And then with the gain involved, you will have a plus and minus voltage. So I'll leave that up to your proof. But uh, most of the time when you have a situation like this, what you'll do is you will um, put in a potentiometer down here. Okay, and maybe this is plus 12, this is minus 12, something like that. And then you can add a potentiometer and then you can change the offset voltage of, of your op amp and you can null things out or make them, make them equal positive, negative. It's, 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 uh, it can be a um, fixed value, but a lot of times you'll see this as a, 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 a adjustable value so that uh, you can take out the tolerances of your parts and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the second way to do it. You can either uh, add offset by summing it in or add offset by uh, adding offset. I should have mentioned that in this particular case, we have a plus voltage. In the other case, we had a negative voltage to sum, to sum in. We needed to sum a negative voltage. But here we want to offset it in the positive direction um, to make this work. So you have a plus voltage here. In the other case, you had a minus voltage. So um, I encourage you to wire both of these up and try them out. All right. Uh, they make a lot more sense when you actually try them out and you might find that you can do, you can do other things as well. Okay. Uh, like in, uh, the first circuit, once you've learned this circuit to be used as an offset, you can also think of it as its original purpose, which is usually a summing, a summation. Uh, you could have, uh, you could have multiple you can have multiple inputs and they all get some some summed into the uh, into the uh, into the part and you can have different gains you can have uh, this one 20k this one 2k and then so this one will get multiplied with uh with this one will have higher gain than the 20k right so you can change the uh weighting factors of the inputs uh, by having different values out here as well so anyway this is a uh, summation so it's like uh, a times gain b times gain c times gain d times gain um, all put through the system and uh, that's summation